Today we're going to take a first look at and unbox a Brix PLC starter pack from Automation Direct. So let me start here by putting it under the overhead cam. And here you can see on the front of the box, you can see Automation Direct, BRX. You can see a 30 day money back guarantee. You can see design, manufactured and supported in the USA. They got free support. You can see a couple different models you can choose from. Um, you can do uh, without Ethernet or with Ethernet. And uh, if we take a look here at the bottom, we can see the model I have here is the Ethernet with analog options. Thank you very much uh, to the people at Automation Direct for sending this over. So let's go ahead and open this up. I already cut the uh, box open here to save time. And uh, you can see a link to their quick stop video here on the top cover. And then let's take the packaging out and I'll just pull these all out. We'll go through each of these. Okay. We'll start with the actual uh, unit itself, which you can see here is pre-assembled in this static bag. Okay. Pull that out here. Let me go ahead and zoom in with the overhead cam. Okay. And here you can see that the first thing you notice is it's already pre-wired to a uh, 120 volt uh, plug to plug in your wall. It comes right in here to this Rhino. You may recognize these Rhino power supplies. We've used them in the past here in our shows. And then that's already pre-wired to the Bricks PLC. And you can see here the spring clamp terminal blocks are installed by default. Everything's pre-wired, ready to go. And uh, so that's what it looks like. Everything's... Uh, already assembled for you. We're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit on that and see what else we get here. Well, this next package here, we have a USB programming cable and port. So let me open that up. Okay. So you can see we get this uh, documentation here. You can see the pot number down there. And this is like a, a quick start. They want you to take the cover off and plug it in. And then you can plug the port into your computer. Okay. And this uh, PLC programs with free programming software. I'm looking forward to trying it. We've tried out a lot of different PLC software over the last uh, couple of years. And, uh, you know, having predominantly used Alan Bradley for the first 30 years of my career, it's great to see how these other vendors, uh, you know, also do a great job with their uh, programming software. So we've had a, a lot of success in learning how to use um, program controllers from different vendors. And we appreciate the opportunity to learn Automation Direct. And so this, you can see, no need for a close up on that because it is uh, just a USB cable. And then this, let's put this here. Pluggable Option Module Serial Programming USB. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut that open. I'll just use my finger. Open this guy up. And again, we've got more uh, directions in there. Okay, but uh, let's see if we can just figure out how to put this in. Shouldn't be too hard. It's pretty straightforward. So pull this guy out. Okay, I'll show it to you under the camera here. Not much to it. Okay, so what do we do? Pull this cover off and we'll uh, stick this in right side up. Or maybe sideways. Okay. Okay, so you want to get the TX and the RX right side up, but the USB will be sideways. Excellent. Okay, easy enough. Not much to that. So what's next? Um, you know, it comes with the spring clamp installed, but if you wanted to do the spring terminal blocks here, let's see if I can show you this. This is the screw terminals. So if you wanted to do the screw terminals instead of the spring clamp, they give it to you, which is nice. It's optional there. What else do we have? Okay, we also have the option of using the zip link. You see here, they give us a zip link cable. And that would go from the I.O. to this terminal block here. Zip link. So nice. So that's good, too. Um, what else do we have here? Well, they include the software. Now, you can download the software for free right from their website. 
but they include the software here on CD. Okay, the Do More Designer. Okay, see that? And then there's this uh, USB card, nifty little USB card here. And I'm told the user's manuals and product data sheets, you see it right there, are on this as well. Again, that's all available online, but it's still nice to have, still nice to have that on USB. Okay. What else do we have here? Covered that, covered that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, here we have a blank 16 gig memory card that we can put right into the controller. You can see right here. And uh, this is so that you can try out their file management and data logging capabilities of the controller. So that's nice that they include that as well. And finally, I believe this is going to be the quick stock guide. Let's open this up. See that it looks like it's very well laid out. Let me zoom out a little bit. Looks very well laid out and documented, and uh, really can't wait to get my hands on this. What I'll do is I will put the pricing up on the screen. You can get it right from automationdirect.com, but I'll put the pricing right on the screen there. And uh, let's take a look at this other data sheet that's in there looks very detailed and straightforward but what I'll do is I will put the uh, prices on the screen so you know how much uh, each kit costs and uh, I really look forward to trying this out on the automation show in the coming weeks but for now we'll leave it there for our first look at automation directs brick PLC starter kit. I think it's a pretty nice kit. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and a sub. And until next time, my friends, peace.